What's wrong with these niggas, Drake? What what's make these niggas think they gonna just run up in your crib and just vandalize your shit and take your shit like you don't got more money than Scarface and like you ain't got the cameras up in there? Come on, son. It's so obvious. You think a nigga like Drake on a Drake's level not gonna have fucking cameras in the house? You fucking goofy. Get that goofy ass nigga a bomb for trying to get you to rob Drake's house. What a clown. That's never gonna work, fam. That's never gonna work. You know how much assets and money and shit is up in them cribs? Niggas got top notch security. You definitely not getting away with that bullshit, fam. Are you, are you stupid? Yeah, nigga tried to run up in Drake's crib like Drake don't got the top-notch security. What's wrong with this dummy? Yeah, so I guess they caught the dude. The dude is definitely going to do time because they're going to make him an example. Um, hopefully, this is not a black dude so they could, you know, discriminate on us and make us look like we them dudes and this is the type of shit we did that we do, you know. 95% of the time, it is going to be a black guy. Hopefully not. I'm praying that it's not. You know what I mean? Or they planted this. The feds made a nigga run up in there to put, um, just to lock a black nigga up and put statistics. We don't know. Let me shut up before they cancel me and fuck with my numbers like I saw on Campbell. This is why I didn't want to be that type of nigga on here. Because I know these niggas. As soon as you become that nigga, this is what these niggas do. That's a fact. 100%. Oh, we got to get to the sponsor, too, man. Shout out to my man, Russ Smith, Russ Dickless. You know, the liquor tasting good, that bourbon down there in that Louis, Louisville, Kentucky. You know what I mean? Definitely. 100%. So, yeah, so um, that's a clown and a goofy for thinking he going to run up in Drake's crib and take and do whatever he planned on doing. What you thought you was going to take the Bentley, the Phantom? What you thought you was going to get, fam? A rollie? A chain? Like they ain't got the cameras on? Dummy? Crazy. These niggas, will, they'll learn. He'll be sitting up in there for a little while. So let's stay around. Let's, let's keep it on Drake. Let's keep it on Drake for a minute. Fuck it. Let's keep it on Drake for a minute. Drake is trending anyway. Let's keep it on Drake for a minute. I'm a New York nigga. So I like this. I'm a New York dude. So I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Drake, the fifth member of Dipset. Jim Jones, you a smart man. Jim Jones, you a smart man. When I tell y'all, Jim Jones is a smart man. Shout out to Dice Peso, too. But yeah, man, Jim Jones, you a smart man. That man made Drake the fifth member of the Dipset. Do y'all know what that album's gonna sound like? Because you don't think Jim Jones is a hustler? Harlem, New York, nigga. This is what the fuck we do. Networking ass niggas. Big time moving Harlem right there. Can't wait to hear that album. Let's get to them boys out there with the footage and the proof that this is going down. That music is us. Yeah. That music is us. I can't just have that third party footage over here. Stop it, five. Stop it, five. Yo, look at that. Three times as thick as all you hey, out there. Water. <laughs> That's it, man. Going on the stage boys ain't right playing now. out there. Welcome, Shout to, the out Welcome to the water park. Welcome to the water park. Welcome to the water park. Stop playing. Shit is hard slide on, on them hoes, girl. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hard. Yeah. 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 I would love to have a conversation with you in Harlem about. Like, I okay. I know a lot of people talk about Harlem, but my ethics for Harlem is always been Harlem. It's mm -hmm. not been the most conventional, but I take care of a lot of people in Harlem, and I take care of our neighborhood. Let's do it. Let's do it. Our neighborhood. 
He'll get my number, and next week, you in town next week, or you yes. perform somewhere? That's a networking okay. ass nigga, next like week, I said. Let's connect, all right? That nigga reminds me of myself. You know you got some, some good That's ideas. a networking ass nigga. We already working on some stuff. I got Nike working on a big initiative for the dance. We on the dance on the dance studio in Harlem. Where, where, where? My wife's brother. It's on 135th Street in South mm -hmm. Fasno. Go, go hard dancing. It's for the kids. We, we do a lot of stuff for the kids. Like, you know, we all grew up in the streets in Harlem. So everything we do. Right. I, tr I try to tell y'all, man. I try to explain to y'all. That's a big move for Harlem right there, man. Jim Jones, you just brought that one home. I can't lie for you, my nigga. Making Drake the fifth member a dip set. Do you, do you guys understand what, what Jim Jones just fucking pulled off, son? That album is good. That's putting them niggas right back in the loop. First of all, Jim, I got to say, I can't say right back. Jim's killing the game right now. He just came off the hit with the Migos. My man Takeoff, that's one of Takeoff's best verses. The We Set the Trends. That's a fact. 100%. Had my man Takeoff up in Harlem. That was big moves right there. So shout out to Dipset for pulling Drake. Drake, you better come to Harlem too. Not just to the Apollo. They want you on that block. They want you on that block. They want you on that block, Drake. Not just to sell out the Apollo. We need you in the hood. That's a fact. Shout out to White Plains, too. I don't want niggas to get it twisted like I'm from Harlem. Shout out to Upstate New York, White Plains. I'm from, up, we from, with a paper app, man. That's a course. Now, 